with uh, Kyriakos on tour. Well, was my oyster. Just a, um, a Riyadh in Marrakesh. Um, competing in possibly one of the biggest dirt jumping events of the year tomorrow. Um, probably going to win. Now, Callum, the question isn't, is Kyriakos okay? The question is, Kyriakos is okay. It's not a question. You know, it's tough at the moment, but yes, I've had it tougher. Look at my childhood, for example, you know, growing up, it was hard. And you do get the critics that say, oh, you know, Kyriakos had it handed to him on a big Greek plate. You know, that's now smashed. But who cares? You know, I'm fine. I'll be fine. You know, people have got it tougher than I have. I was on the phone to my to my mum the other day, and she was she was out in the Beamer back home, and you know she saw a little Greek lad just got back from a day's fishing, you know to to fish for his to for his supper, you know he'd literally be happy with a lamb coffee and a yogurt. Brought three of the boys of us with me. Gonna gonna tear it up. Living the dream. Living the dream. So what are you watching? Uh, just watching some old footage of when I was on tour back in 2010. Um, well, a lot of us went. Done alright actually. That comment, I come second. Um, it was it's like one of the biggest uh, dirt jumping events you can do. Um, that was in Morocco. Mm, good times. Yeah, I haven't got a lot of money coming in at the moment, obviously, and so at the moment I'm actually working for my mate Ryan. Um, and what he does is he works for like a broker that uh, produces and distributes like um, it's like a sexual stimulant. It's called Vagin Strength. Um, so I'm sort of working under him, um, which is a little bit demeaning because the blokes literally got two GCSEs, um, and you know one's Greek studies, the others woodwork. Did you want to say? Yeah. Uh, no, I was quite fortunate actually because. Um, Obviously, at the moment, there's not a lot of money coming in. So I gave Ryan a ring um, and he said, and I asked him, you know, is there any work on it at the moment? And fortunately for me, I sort of fell on my feet because at the moment, there is a lot of work. There's, they're selling a lot more product. Um, and he was saying to me that because at this time of year, hear that tea? Um, yeah, at this time of year, um, sales go up because according to him, people are more sort of frisky or horny. Um, and so, you know, it's the merry si- Tea. It's a merry season, so there's no tea. Right, yeah, so I'm literally just getting ready to go now. Are you coming? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, being the only one that lives abroad, do you keep much contact with your family? In all, to be fair, that I'm not the only one. I do actually have another cousin that lives and works in the city, but she's an absolute nightmare, so... I, she, she literally thinks that she is the nuts. Um, but realistically, you know, she's crackers. Oh, oh for fucking hell. What's she doing here? Who's that? Cousin. You alright? How are you? Are you happy to see I didn't me? Expect this. I didn't expect this one bit. I would ask her to leave, but I genuinely don't know what she'll say. She won't go. Last time she was here, she was two for two weeks. So I thought she was going to bring up squatting rights. Yeah, and, she, and the other thing is, there are, there are genuine family issues. Because her being a bit Turkish from Turkish side of the family, she can be a bit militant. What's she doing? I didn't even, that one you out there before she came in. That was in her pocket. Who carries hints around in the pocket? So, you know, now you, I mean, I don't sound rude or anything, but you've got to go. You know, I've, I've got to go. I've got to go and work. Time. Where do you work? It's, that's not the point. Do you know what I mean? The point is, I can drop you off at a hotel, I can take you to a train oh, station. Oh, I'll go on. Where do you work? I love you. Where do you work? It's sexual herbal stimulants. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, so, um, sort of mixed emotions, really. No, I mean, all I really know about the job is that I'm going to hand out flyers for a product that's affectionately known as um, Vagistrength. So why the two watches? It's a funny story, actually. Um, 
it might have surprised you to know that when I was young I was a little bit slow um, and it took me a sort of longer longer than usual time to learn to tell the time um, so what my mum and dad decided to do is they bought me two watches uh, one being an analogue and one being uh, a digital and the idea was that I'd look at the analogue and see what the hands were saying and then I'd look over to the digital and obviously it would tell me the time so I'd learn by sort of looking and remembering etc um, and what they did was uh, was every day they'd, uh, at five o'clock they'd ask me what the time was um, never really cottoned on to the fact that it was always five o'clock have you seen this? it's ridiculous let me just read it so this is what I've got to get, uh, give out the unisex herbal stimulant that will cater for either gender's needs, right? Not too bad. Whether you need it bigger or wider, I don't know why you'd need it wider. Um, or well, I think that means the, the, the minge, not the, not the penis. Um, Vagi strength will be there to make sure you get what you need. And it tastes good. About two months ago, it seems to keep popping in. It's just I've got to hand these out. It's, it's raining now. I'll just put that on your one. It's really busy. The decorations that way better than yours, actually. How do you define the relationship between you and your cousin? Oh, I think we get along great. He's so lovely. We get along like a house on fire. The thing is, Cal, I'm thinking about calling it a day because this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm not a quitter, but, you know, pissing down the rain. Yeah. Some blokes just literally spat at me. You know, no one wants this product. It's Christmas. Alright, I'm just gonna go get a drink. Do you want one? I'm really no, cold. I'm okay. Thank you, you sure? Alright. Let's try it, she's going to get the fuck out of it. You know, I, just, do you know I, mean? I don't want to come across as being a bit of a bit of a tar or anything, but you know, this is just ridiculous, you know, I expected, I expected it to be, to be tough work, but I didn't expect it to be like that, do you know what I mean, like, it's just, it's just trying to sell sand to the Arabs, do you know what I mean, I threw most of it away, so, I just don't tell Ryan that, no one wants it, you know, and, you know, to top it all off, I had bloody, the Achilles heel of the family, or the Achilles heel, as I like to call it, do my nutting. I just need to go home. This is a, oh, for f look. I literally don't know. Actually. Mad, how have you even done that? silly sausage. I'm soaked up in here for hours. I thought you said that you was going to hop off. Yeah, and we lost each other, yeah. so I thought I'd just meet you back at the no, car. No, but I thought you said that you was going to go. Go home. Oh, no, I thought I'd come meet you. I just thought I'd stay at your house. No, you... Look, Nadia, I'm going to be, I'm going to be completely honest with you. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful because you are family and I appreciate that, but you, you can't say me. I can say. You know, it's, it's getting to the stage now where I, I never know what to do anymore because you, you could turn up at any minute. I am staying though. Let me try and, let me try and get this through to you in a way that you understand. Could be hard. Right. I'm very busy at the moment, okay? It's Christmas time. Exactly, it's Christmas. That's why I come to stay with you. Why haven't you, why didn't you <clears throat> ring me? I spoke to George though. He said it was all right. Yeah, so he spoke to George. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's not that's not here nor there. The point is, you know, it's you know, if you're not interrupting me on holiday, you you know, you come into my house. Now, I'll be honest with you. You know, you 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 can't stay with me. I can stay. You you can't stay. I can. You, you, I am. You're not listening. And I will. You can't though. You're not. You can't. Yes, I I'm can. Very, no, you can't. Yes, I can. You're not staying with me, Nadia. It's Christmas is fine. I can stay with now, you. Now you can't fucking stay with me, Nadia. I'm fucking staying with you, Jack.
look nice, you look, do you know what I mean? If you want to stay with me, look, whatever, but you've got to be aware, you know, I'm actually busy, I'm busy tonight, you know, I've got, I've, I've got things to do, so, you know, I can drop you home, but you have to fend for yourself. What are you doing tonight? Well, loads of things. Like, yeah, I'm going. I'm going to see my mate. I'm going. To, I'm going pub with the boys. I'll just gone to pub with you. It'll be yeah, well fun. Just, this is what I'm saying, Dan. You just, you just impose on people. Yeah, but you won't even know that I'm there. So. Yeah, I wouldn't know that you were there if you weren't there. So it'd be better for me if you didn't come. To be honest, with you. Listen, what I'll do, I'll just come to the pub with you, have a drink, say hello to your mates, and that's it. You got you're at the end of it. Will that be the end of it? Yes, I promise. What? And then you'll go home. I'll go home. Are you going to go home with this I'll... time? You know, because it's this is what I'm saying. Who's that? Are you, who are you texting? No one that you. Know. Who are you? Te- who are you texting? Is that Ryan? Are you? Been, are you texting Ryan? I've been texting Ryan a little Fucking bit. Ryan, Ryan, just a Ryan. little bit. What have you been saying to him? What's he been saying to you more? All I've been saying to him is, I'm coming down, I'm seeing Jack. Might want to meet up for a drink, so I can just do that tonight. You're coming down. Yes. You I'm... will be going down, wouldn't you? So what time am I meeting you at the pub then? No, I didn't think. Hey. Eight o'clock. What yeah. pub is it? Uh, the Smithy. Do you think you should be able to get to the pub? Wouldn't have thought so. Um, that pub don't exist. So where are we going? Just on the way to go and see an old mate of mine. Um, I've known him for a long time. He was actually I've sort of known him professionally as well because he used to be my um, I say bodyguard. I mean, he didn't you know that sounds sounds really severe, but he was he was like head of security, so to speak. So yeah, I haven't seen Dave. For a long time. Um, so yeah, just go and see him. Good catch up. He doesn't know I'm coming, um, but I thought I'd give, you know drop in, give him a little bit of surprise. It's Christmas. So did you guys end amicably? What does that mean? Um, you know, like on good terms. Oh yeah, no, definitely. I mean, there was a bit, there was a bit of a ta- bad taste in everyone's mouth because uh, he ended up been hospitalised because I asked him if he could down a whole pint of vodka. Did um, he do it? He did do it because I don't know if it was me or, or George or someone said that if he didn't that he wouldn't get paid. <coughs> see if she's in. Hello. Hey, Davo, Davy. Speaking. Davitron. Hello. It's me. Me? It's Jackie. Oh, oh, sorry, mate. Do you, um, do you want anything? Got some fruit there, tea, no. water, whiskey, vodka, gas, no. drugs. Dave. What? I'll uh, I'll go a tea, mate. Will you? Yeah, tea. Tea. Yes, please, mate. How's you have it? Just a bit of milk. Bit of milk. Sugar? Yeah, just a free, mate. Right. Is it alright that's been here? I suppose it has to be, mate. I mean, I'm not gonna lie here, mate, but there's um It's a bit of a surprise if I'm honest. And it's this bloody kettle ball. Sorry mate, I'm still over the place with this. I ain't seen him. <coughs> He's come back. What's with fucking dig up half of Jamaica, three fucking sugars. If I could if I could have a quid for every time I've bailed him out of some shit or some Absolute you know, crock of rubbish that he's fucking got us, got me into. Yeah, I'd be a fucking millionaire. Won't be scratched by some pissing council flat. How's that tea, Dave? <sighs> Top man, cheers for that, mate. Now you're a star. You're, you're a good man. Right. Hey, Ben. I've been alright, yeah. What are you doing for work? Odds and sods, bits and pieces mm. here and there. You know, you do whatever you can, don't you, to sort of get by. And I mean, the whole, not just the country, but it's like, oh, the country's in shit, the country's in shit. Blame Cameron, blame Cameron. But it ain't just England, is it? I mean, it's the whole world. And I'd even go beyond that. You know, I mean, I watched Star Wars the other day, and that Princess Leia ain't even got enough money to clothe herself. So, I mean, everyone's feeling it. In the squeeze. So. So, Dave, how do you perceive the relationship that you two had? You know, no. I don't want to put words into Dave's mouth, but he'd probably say just, that. You've just had one. Yeah, he'd probably say that we was probably as close as you know two baked beans in a tin. In that, you know, wherever I went, Dave went. Right. He was paid to do that, yeah, but it was amicable. I'm sorry to bring all this up again. I'm, I, I really haven't. I don't think this is getting across to the people at home. But I am absolutely fuming, mate. You've just arrived 
unannounced and this is all coming back. I need to, we need to say this, is this all right? I mean, you can cut stuff out, do you know what I mean? The reason why me and him have fallen out is because about two years ago, well, 18 months. Didn't know we had. What? Didn't know that we'd fallen out. But about 18 months ago, me and him, well, he had a competition in Budapest, in Hungary. And uh, so obviously as per, I was looking after him. George wasn't there actually. He, he'd he arranged all the flights, but beyond that, it was all me. Um, I'd, had a, I'd had a say in most of it. <clears throat> I, I'd, I'd done a lot of it. But anyway, we got there and we, instead of going to the competition, he was meant to be there at nine o'clock on this Wednesday morning. We arrived there Tuesday night, 11 o'clock at night, and it'd be there nine o'clock Wednesday morning. He didn't get there till 11. That was my fault, apparently. I mean, you know, I don't want to run around the houses about this, mm. and beat around the bush and all that, but mm. the thing is, is that when I woke up that Wednesday morning mm. to go to your room, uh, you know, and then check that you'd risen in time for the competition, for, for registration, for the prep, for breakfast, mm. you know, what I, I walked into in that room, what I saw and what I smelt, more importantly, is, you know, symptomatic of what you've become now, what I see in front of me, I'm afraid to say. Mm. And not be funny, mate. I walked in and you checked yourself. I didn't shit myself. Yeah, you checked yourself. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't shit myself. He checked himself. <laughs> I didn't shit myself. Now you're going. You're sitting there telling me when I've shit myself. You shit yourself. No, I didn't shit myself. Shit okay, yourself. your opinion didn't do it. Did happen, right? But the point is, you know, you weren't innocent of a bit of, you know, malpractice, were you? Well, what do you mean? No. Oh, I don't oh, know. What about the time, right? I got time. into my car and you was having sex with Roller Oh, yeah, I, don't, I, knew, you know, I knew this. And she was affectionately known. I knew it. A woman that this. was massive, had four kids by four different blokes, used to roll around a skate park, what? serving drinks to people and hot dogs. Yeah, look, day. Look. If beauty was in the eye of the beholder, you must have had fucking cataracts, mate. I mean, I'll be fine, but what about that time you walked into that mirror shop in Milan, whenever it was? Was it Milan or... No, it was Milan. You walked in and said, oh, hello, where can I get one like I see in Snow White? I want to see mirror mirror on the wall. I said to you, what time was you picking up, right? You said 11 Tell o'clock. Me. 11 o'clock, like you said. I said, what do you want, AM or PM? He said, no, I don't like politics, make it AM. You know, you're saying how stupid I am. What about the time you were supposed to pick me up from the airport and you were stuck into an eating competition? I don't be funny, yeah, but just, just we're gonna get down to this again, yeah? It's not even a job, mate. I didn't come just, here to argue. Just mate. shut up, yeah? Right. Oh, just shut just up and saying, listen. Didn't come here shut to... up and listen. Remember that Russian girl I was dating, Katerina, who I really, really liked, whose dad owned the oil wells? Yeah, could have could have been it for me. Could have been it, it for us. I would have shared with you. you need it. Look at I liked her. I was on the verge of putting a ring on her finger. You ended up sticking your finger listen. up her ring. Listen, Dave. Right? How was I supposed to know she had a bowel problem? Look, look, forget it, yeah? Move on, under the carpet, forgotten about. It's not, look, Lock it away and throw away yeah, the yeah, key, yeah? Dave, listen, you know, I never meant to be a, such a twat, you know. I didn't want to make you look like a massive cock. So how do you think that went? You know, you know, it was nice, it was good. You know, I'm glad I went, actually, because, you know, I never knew that there was bad blood between me and Dave, and, you know, that, that gave him a chance to say sorry to me, so... So I'm going to go and meet um, Ryan, who is technically my employer. It pains me to say it, but it is what it is. Um, and Stefan may or may not be there. I don't, I don't know if you've met Stefan. I don't think you've met either of them, but... Tell me about how you doing, Stefanovsky? Long yeah, time, yeah, good man. Ryan, man, got rid of me. Flogged a lot, all of them, all of them, every single one. That's God's my witness. I didn't expect the uh, verbal abuse and the physical, actually. Was That's part of the job, mate. It's part of the job. I still live in, but now I'm up to regional district manager. So, well, anyway, it's all done. So, one rung on my ladder. Just the issue of the payment now. So, all 600 done. Payment, uh, mm. I'm not being funny, mate, uh, but uh. He says he's gonna do something. He does it. He's not gonna lie about it. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking, talking about, about, sir. These, these, oh, miracle, right. an absolute miracle, sir. One right. of these, one of these. Hard for a week, you'll be. I can get a crate of these. Keep me going for a year at minimum. Um, 
just come out these ones. These are the newest phase. We've, we've got many different products on sale. Yeah. Yeah. These are tablet form, but we've got injection form. Yeah. You can smoke it if you really want to, but that doesn't give the desired effect always. Okay. Um, this would normally retail at fourteen ninety nine door to door, you know. But because you're such a close personal friend, I can do these for you for about eleven quid. You know, it's like what you were saying, right? You know, I was watching Top Gear the other day, and it was, you know, it was talking about the roles of um, different races in society. And I thought, you know, the Greeks, a strong, a strong yeah. culture. Of course, they're strong. Definitely. You know, it's it's like the Greeks. You know, we get stereotyped, we get pigeonholed. Oh, the, the Greeks, oh yeah, they like lamb. And, you know, they, they sail the sea and fish. I do like a little bit of lamb. No, I could do with some lamb right now. Yeah, well, I like kebabs. It's not the same. No, completely missed the point. We, we, what are you talking about? Yeah, what I'm saying is, what I'm trying to get across to you is, we're not going to get married to the Tinky song. You know? Ding, 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 the sort of like swords and knives and you know the poetry and some more sort of shish kebab. I think there's an opportunity for a bit of shish kebab up notch, you know. Styrofoam love story, yeah. yeah. Are you fucking simple? What what I'm what I'm basically trying to get across is that for me I'm a big sucker for eyes for a lady. I really do think that you know you can really get to know a woman's soul by looking into their eyes. And I do really think that they are the window to that person. Um, you know. I also like tits. So you point, Jack. Um, I respect it, but uh, I do love the eyes. What a crit. I like the boobies as well. I stop objectifying women. Yeah, mate, I mean, come on, a hundred years of women rights gone down the toilet in one sentence there, mate. Bloody hell. My God, Ryan. So, what else do you do? Listen, that I get around, you know, man of exotic taste, skills, many skills, many talents, many cities, a woman in each of those cities, sometimes more than one. Not that we've ever met any of them. Um, you know, this is coming from the bloke who was once found, and I swear to God, found masturbating into a little yoghurt pot. <laughs> This is the cretin there. I like that. Cretin that gets laid, obviously. Yeah, a cretin that gets laid from every job he's ever had. Well, he's coming over with me tonight. Fucking hate coming over tonight. Can I come over you tonight? Fuck off. Well, fellas, the lady has uh, made her choice, so I'm not sure I'll be needing these. I'll leave you two to fight over them. Yeah, well, no one's going to be using these tonight because I didn't get out of the flies. So. Well, uh, you're fired then, aren't you, mate? Give a shit, guys. I'm, I am Kyriakos. I'm. This is not the beer end of my life. Kyriakos. Get on your bike, then, mate. Yeah, <laughs> 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 that's 4.99, mate.